So on the line then for race number five, third leg on the 500 sidecars. Looks like you've got the cruise line, look over that far side. Away we go then. Five crews come out and it's got them at a good start, but Josh Goodwin's alongside him again. Good when he goes through. Taking a real wide line and got the clear lead then. But 
Sean Army has got the second. Natasha Barkley in third. The Bales are in fourth place. Mike Reed is in five. Up to five. They stream on the back straight once again. It's usually Denver. Second place. This is Sean Army. Good morning. Third. Bales are in fourth place. They're looking for third place. Up to Natasha Barkley. They come again. Moving on to four this time. Then usually he looks behind him. He's got Harvey holding that second place. Barkley is shoulder to shoulder. The Bales. Bales go inside. Barkley to move through. In the third place. Come Barkley. Get back to on the inside. Bales go wide. Barkley trying to get back to it. Right trying to go back to the third place. Bales are hanging on to that third spot. And Sean Hughes is into that top corner. Four knee from the time. Check the flag comes out. Sean Hughes gets the in line. Sean Harvey picks up the second. Bale gets the third. Barkley is in fourth. Reed in fifth place. Points for that race then. Mike Reed, two points. Natasha Barkley, three points. Sean Harvey, five points. James Hogg, non finisher. Sean Hughes, seven. Aaron Bale, four. Right, we go on to the third leg of the 250 solos. Next. Stanford, nine. 
Chad Wordstown, no starter. Luke Harris, 11. Lee Charles, 8. Adam Hawker, 4. Anthony Sales, 3. Ben Hillsley, 6. Russell Little, 7. Gary Cook, 1 point. Uh, five then of the 500 solos on the line now. Away we go, we got the next six going out. Come on, Come on, Jamie! Right, Gary's the lead going into that top corner for the first time. Is that James Changer they're chasing in second place? There's Luke Harris leads it is James Changer they're chasing in second place. And Shane gets inside Harris. Harris again back round the outside to retake the lead. Harris leads it. Shane in second. Kenneth has got that third place position. That's the top vehicle drawn by Chris Harris at the moment. James Shane can't get the close again. In second place as Harris is the leader. Couple in lap number two. But Shane's holding that second place. Harris leads. Shane's it in second. Kenneth is in third. Mears is in four. Butcher is in five. That's a five. They stay on the back straight. Once again, it's Chris Harris back to the front. Is again in this one. Being chased all the way there by Shane. Shane has got that second. Kenneth's up the good line in third. Harris again winding on right round the outside of that top corner. Leads him on the four in. Harris leads the chain. Forward in second place. Kenneth has got the third. Mears is in four. Butcher is in five. Shane just closed the gap on Harris going up the back straight. Four in one more time. About four bikes between first and second. Harris again goes to that wide line. Shane Shane's going so much time to line, coming off that final corner, race for line, Harris gets all in line, James picks up the second place, and he's getting comes across the line in third, Dave Mears in four, Alan Butcher in fifth place. Eddie Kennett, 8. 
Dave Mears, 7. Aaron Butcher, 6. Paul Hurry, non-start. Charlie Powell, non-start. Jane Shane's 9. Zach Bightnet, non-start. We move on then to the uh, final leg of the 1,000 sidecars. Of a Penfold, Matt Fumarola, Mark Cosser, Will Offen, Joe Mark, and Pete Shaw. The crew's in action this time out, but it looks like we haven't got all of those. Only three on the line, I can see at the moment, for the start of this third leg of the big chairs. Up for the tape, somebody lifts out of the start. That's Matt Fumarola. That's low Mark Cosser to get away. At the front, Will Offen is away with him. Matt Fumarola lifts. The star has got a lot to do there. Back in third place, and it's Mark Cosser leading the back straight for the first time. Will Offen has got that second place. Matt Fumarola is third. Already pretty well spread out. Going to this corner for the first time. Cosser's clear then. But Offen holding second. Fumarola is in third place. A complete lap number one then. Mark Cosser looking to be on beat in the heat of the uh, big chair. Will Offen has got that second. Matt Fumarola is in third place. And equal distance between these three. Coming out of that pitch corner, completing a lap number two, right in the mid track position, Mark Costa and Carl Bly, totally on trouble at the front. And Will Offen, who's got that second play, Matt Fimrell is getting a little bit close in third, starting to close the gap on Will Offen for that second play position. As Costa's the length of the straight, clear the front then, but Offen on his second. Being ready then for Mark Cosser and Carl Bly on beat in the heat, so they move it on to lap number four. And uh, still, will often hold in that second place. This again, Fumarola has just got a little bit closer, but still a lot to do to get that second place. And will often is halfway down the back straight for the final time. We still see often in second with Fumarola hanging. And what has Mark Cosser done there? He's completely turning round. The race is in his pocket. He's completely turning round. He can be well not in this particular heat. So Will Offen wins it. Second place goes to Matt Fumarola. So I don't quite know what happened to Mark Costa. Totally on trouble at the front. Virtue seemed to come to a stop on the entry of that pitch corner on lap number four. So all sorts of drama there in that uh, start of the final leg of the big chairs. <laughs> But the points for that particular heat there, Neville Penfold, non-starter. Matt Fumarola, five points. Mark Cossa did not finish. Will Offen, seven. Joe Mogg, non-starter. Pete Shaw, non-starter. Next heat, Gary Shearer will obviously be a non-starter. So you've got mixed days. Tom Cosser, Kieran Hicks, Paul White, Lamont Beaton, and George Penfold will obviously be a non-starter. So race ten of the big chairs then. Paul White them on beat mixed stage next to him on the line there. They get away from the start once left on the line again. One is very, very slow away. And it's a Kieran Hicks. He's made the start then with Paul White in second place. Mixed stage in third. Tom Costa is completely left on the line. That could prove to be disastrous for Tom Costa then. Up in second, mixed stage in third. Tom Coss is on the mission in fourth place. They come out of that pitch corner and try to complete a lap number one. Then Hicks leads it from previous on beat. White has got the second. Stage in third. Tom Coss is in fourth place. Coss against inside stage to move from the third place in sets of eight chase in the leading two. This Hicks leads it from the leading two. Tom Coss is desperately trying to close the gap.
come in third. Next eight is in fourth place. They complete lap number two there. When Kieran Hicks looking to pick up his first, he went off the afternoon. White has got that second place. Costa is in third. Stace is in fourth. Paul White have had to go on the inside of that top corner. But Kieran Hicks again pulls away as he goes to the back place. Stakes is in fourth place, coming out of that pitch corner, lost that black. See him made ready then, Hicks leads them, Paul White them is definitely close and there to go into the top corner for the follow time. Hicks right in the trap, right in the look of the line, two on the inside of Bright Mitch Wisdom and Hicks again is quicker coming off that front.
Steve Buckley and I'm beating Gareth Winderburn. So another real tough heat then of action for race number 12. Oh, we have we got a problem with the gate? We have a problem with the gate again, I think. The tapes have not gone up. They're revving away in the bikes. The tape has not gone up, so obviously a problem down there again. Everybody very, very keen. It's a very competitive heat, this final qualifying heat up for a tape. So where they go, Dave Buckley has not made the start. Simon Neal has got away. Colin Blackmore has got away. So has Neil Owen. Gareth Winneman has lost away. They're going to be four of us going in that top corner for the first time. Neil Owen making a move around the outside. Gareth Winneman gives everything around the outside as well. Colin Blackmore has got the second. Winneman has got the third. He lives in fourth place. Cover right by Colin Blackmore getting through on the inside. He leads them. Neil Owen trying to find a way through on the inside. Green comes 
Gets across the line in second. Third is going to be wide riding Jim Nose. Paul Cooper gets fourth. Stuart Mears is in five. Aaron Butcher in six. Jody Hodgson in seventh place. Dole that race, seven to be final win for number 37, Chris Harris. Second number 66, Stephen Green. And third number two, Tim Nobes. Fourth number 11, Paul Cooper. They all go through to the A final. 41, 20, and 53. The next race is the B final for the 500 sidecar. Right, we've still got uh, 472 yellow, first prize in the raffle to be claimed, and 94 blue, second prize in the raffle to be claimed, that's money prizes, so if you've got any of those tickets, 472 yellow, 94 blue. Thank you. 
the new solos. Looking for Luke Harris to get him with Russell Riddle has got away. Where is Luke Harris? He's won the only
second place Richard that's the top two coming out of that pitch corner to complete a lap number one then Nilo Elise from Marcos are holding that second place position Will Offen has got the third Johnny Scott in four Kieran Hardy in five Tom Cosser supporting you back in sixth place as they go to the back straight once you're up there really fun to come for that third place and the top two again trying to close the gap there in second place coming out of that pitch corner and moving on the cut start lap number three then Owen leads it for Mark Costa in second well often has got the third Johnny Scott in four Kieran Hicks in five Tom Costa pulls out well back in sixth place we want some going down that back straight once again and Mark Into that top corner once again then. 
It's good when you lead, gentlemen. God knows in that second place position. These two are getting away for a terrific scrap of the for Sean Harvey is in third. Sean Hughes is in four. Hayes are in five. Barry Bell is in six. After six, they got the back straight once again. Good win, clear then for God knows in that second place Change is coming. 
sixth place. Second number 69, James Wright, and third number 66, probably the best result of his career so far, Stephen Green. Two, 19, 37, and number 11. If we do get any news, we will pass it on to you immediately. We can tell you that the, uh, there is a change of passenger in the 1,000 sidecar final. The passenger for Neil Owen will be Terry Madley. Terry Madley will be on the back of Neil Owen. <laughs> Start to come into line then for this uh, final. Let's see if that's Neil Owen on the inside of me. Paul Whiteman goes in next to him. He goes in as highest point scorer. It looks like Mark Costa right on one from the outside. Colin Blackmore towards the middle of the grid. This is the final race of the day. The 1000cc sidecar A final for the Wimborne Whopper Trophy. This is what they've all been racing for all day for this big A final. Are we in for a dramatic final? Matt Fumarola in the middle of the grid there, just moving right up into line. Colin Blackmore next to him, then Mark Cossa. Engines begin to rev up for the tapes. It's a pretty equal break. Neil Owen is in trouble. He's got pretty quickly away. Paul White has made a good start. Colin Blackmore and Gareth Woodburn and Paul White and Colin Blackmore come together on the entry. That top corner is Gareth Woodburn makes a move around the outside. Mark Cossa is trying to fall in through. Colin Blackmore gets shot. Around the outside is easy in his second place. for White from his second. Cossa in third. In fourth place, come to complete a lap number one. It's Gareth Winterburn and Legion for Paul White in second. Mark Hosser is in third. Colin Blackburn in fourth. Matt Fumarone in five. Neil Owen is in sixth. They go to the back straight once again. They're punching up the second third of the Second place, this is Mark Cosser making a big move, trying to go through into second place. As Winterburn leads it then for Whiteman in second, Cosser is in third, Blackburn is in third place. Colin Blackburn's got a problem, his back wheel has completely come off, the back tire has completely come off. Colin Blackburn goes to the stop in the WJ. flag is out, so the drama continues right up until the last race of the day. Colin Blackburn's tyre and part of the wheel completely off there as he came across the line. There was a bit of a coming together on the uh, first lap. So that concludes the racing today. Please, if you can help by clearing the track, on tying some ropes, lifting some stakes, it will be a great help. So the result is as follows: the win for number 49, Gareth Winderburn, Liam Brown. Second number 92, Paul Whiteham, Alan Elliott, and third number 37, Mark Cosser, Carl Bly. 15, 12.
White women doing a lot of honour, so show your appreciation now, poor white women, Alan Elliot. Thank you for the people of Ireland tying ropes if you can and just loosen those stakes. It will be greatly appreciated. We do want this meeting to continue again next year. Uh, Gareth Winneburn and Liam Brown, wrap up on it. What a great afternoon for Liam. He's one on the 500, he's one on the 1000 as well. Matt Fumaro, Gareth Williams come round of there, lap of honour as well. Can we have the JCB on track please to move this sign car please? We need the JCB on track to move this sign car, thank you. He likes to say what we're waiting for the riders. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. What I've got to say is an amazing crowd today and um, I've been coming to uh, the Wimbledon Whopper since uh, I think seven, 1974 my dad used to bring us down and we used to live in the Midlands and come to all the grass track events and uh, it's great to see grass track surviving, um, absolutely fantastic crowd and yeah it's just great great racing it really is and uh, without all the crowd and obviously the Wimborne club put on such an amazing event um, you could really see it deteriorating but uh, Hopefully the riders agree, this is a, a fantastic track today, obviously no stones, not too bumpy, not too rutty, um, hopefully you agree with that, I see some of you maybe are looking, but uh, certainly the circuit looks great, and I, I think for, uh, I hear the committee is only six people in this club, so to lay on a, an event like this, I think even those guys, maybe they need to deserve a uh, round of applause for the Wimborne Club. And like I say, it's a, a great privilege to, to hand out the trophies. I haven't been to a grass track for a long, long time. We've been so busy with the British Superbikes. And to win last weekend at Brands Hatch was, was just incredible. You know, for Leon Haslam and all the family, it was just a, an amazing experience. So um, this is a weekend off. So back to two wheels and three wheels, obviously. So uh, it really was great. So thanks very much for inviting me. And obviously, I'll let the guys do the presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Craig, and let's re-endorse those words because there is a lot of rumour this could be the last whopper. Let's hope with this massive crowd, good the spectators have helped get the ropes down, that they will have a rethink and continue. Well, we'll start off the uh, presentations and we'll begin with the 250 solos, finishing in third place, Ben Hillsley. It's quite mental, isn't it? Yeah. A runner-up in the 250s, Ollie Stanford. Hold on, Ollie. And the winner of the 250s this afternoon, a very busy young man, 250s and 500 solos. Superb performance in the 250s on beat in his four lines, <laughs> Luke Harris. <laughs> Because of the lateness, we're just going to do the presentations, no interviews today because Tom is slipping by, so get your photographs with the uh, top three in each class and we will be moving on to get it done as quickly as possible. Thank you. Oh, today. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, lads. Thank you very much. We move on then to the 500 sidecars, finishing in third place, multi-British champion Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg. In second place, and he really made the winner go really hard today on two, if not three occasions. Second place, European silver medalist Mitch Gordon and Paul Smith. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
And the winner of the 500 sidecars, superb unbeaten performance by former European and many times British champions, Josh Goodwin and Liam Brown. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Alden, well lads. Thank you. Five hundred solos next, and what a dramatic final that turned out to be. The top three finishing in third place, probably his best ever performance on a laydown after many successes in the upright and pre 75s. Third place today, Stephen Green. Yay! In second place, he was unbeaten going into that final finishing in second place in the final, James Wright. And the winner of the 500 solos, he came in as a late entry, he's come out on top in the 500 solos, the winner of the Wimborne Whopper 2018, Eddie Kennett! Okay, lads, thank you very much indeed. Well done, thank you very much. <laughs> On then to the 1,000cc sidecars. The drama we had all day continued even till the very last race of the day. Finishing in third place, Mark Carson and Carb Live. Finishing in second place, Paul White Lemon, Alan Elliott. And the winner of the 1,000cc sidecars, Wimborne Whopper champions for 2018, Masters champion, Gareth Winderburn and Liam Brown. Congratulations to Liam, won the 500s on the back of Josh, and he's won the 1000s on the back of uh, Gareth as well. So many congratulations to Liam on his double today. Okay, thank you very much indeed, gentlemen. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. 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 Thank
Right, that concludes the presentations. Please let's have some good reports on the internet because this club needs to continue. Seeing the size of the crowd today, we've had a cracking day's racing. It would be an absolute tragedy if this club would have finished. So please support the club. Thank you for getting all the ropes down. It's been a massive help. And let's hope we run again in 2019. Thank you very much.